Jerome, <laughs> Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve. That's what he told yesterday to the Senate Banking Committee. Listen to this. Although inflation has been moderating in recent months, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go, a long way to go, and is likely to be bumpy. So what does that even mean? So are we going to go for a ride with Jerome on a bumpy road? Is that what we have to understand? So interest rates are likely to rise more than previously expected as the uh, central bank works to bring down inflation. The latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be higher than previously anticipated. So what should we expect? The market to tumble like crazy? No, no. You know, all of these things inflation up, the pace of rate hikes increase. Now, all these things, I'm telling you, it's already priced in. It is priced in, I'm telling you. So 2023 will be again a market crash? No, I'm telling you, I'm the most bullish channel in the world. <laughs> you know, I'm a French channel, I say I'm the most bullish channel in France, but I'm telling you, in the world, 2023 will be the money year you know, and probably 2024 too. I suspect that all things will go back to all time high. Okay. Probably not the NASDAQ because some companies tumble so much. <laughs> On this channel, there's a company we talk about all the time, Novavax, or even other, you know, small caps like Matterport and all these companies who lost uh, uh, Unity Software. They lost like 70, 80%. Uh, during 2022, there is no way these companies will go back to all-time highs. But the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and all these uh, indexes and big companies like Apple, why not? I mean, we're going to see in the charts, but Apple back to $180? Yeah, no problem with that. I can see it happen in 2023. Let's see the chart. But first of all, I'd like to show you something, okay? You probably, if you are uh, outside of France, you probably are, you're not familiar with the French index and French companies and the French market. Look at that. Look at the French market. This is the CAC 40, all right? And this is beginning of 2022, all time high, all right? Like everybody else. We went down like everybody else. Here, the bottom was. Uh, end of September 2022 and then back up and not only we reached again the all-time high but we went above it all right so this is you know this is the guy all right there's a drawing I like to make okay this is Kaku it's a guy called Kaku the French market is absolutely bullish you know, there are companies like you probably know, LVMH, Total Energy, which is the uh, the old company, Stellantis, which is also an American company now, uh, since the uh, joint venture, and many other companies, especially in luxury goods and, and, and all these things, you have money to make on the French market. So if you are from outside of France, just think about investing in the French market because there's a lot of money to make on the French market. We, we never think about foreign markets. An American guy will probably focus on American uh, assets. A French guy, will he will watch the American market, but outside the US, he will invest on the French market, etc., etc. So think about it, you know, as in uh, maybe another opportunity to make money and get on board the money train. <laughs> now let's have a look at the Dow Jones. Oh, Jones. Look at that. This is beginning of 2022 and the, the bear market of 2022. Now, so the rebound that started uh, end of September, same bottom, end of September, we went as high as 34,500. And look at that. This point here, so the, the highest point is higher than the previous highest point. So this is a good sign. Now, since then, we've been ranging Okay, uh, from 32,500 to approximately 34 or something. Okay, I even made a drawing, you know, simulating what might happen <laughs> for the rest of the year. So I don't believe a Dow Jones going back, you know, and going back to a bear market. I don't believe in that. I'm bullish like, like never before. 
And I believe that after this period of range, we'll reach the whole time high, which is located here. Okay. It's not much, not much uh, necessary to reach it. 11.5%. So it is possible uh, during 2023, right? With the exception of if, you know, for example, the war in Ukraine going worldwide and going crazy, those kind of stuff could be one of the reasons uh, the market will collapse again. But other than that, Look at the S&P 500. So again, the, the uh, bear market beginning of 2022, we're going down, going down. Mid-October, we, we see the bottom. Now, we have been rebounding since then, but the difference is that we haven't passed the previous highest point, which is here, located at around 4,320. So we can say that we're back, you know, into a, a bull market. We still have the way to go. But again, I believe it's going to happen. And eventually we'll go back to the all time high in 2023 again. So here's the NASDAQ, which I renamed the drama queen, always doing whatever she wants. Look at that. Behaving like a drama queen. Look at that. Nobody knows what the hell she wants. <laughs> You know, this is crazy, like a drama queen. Again, beginning of 2022, the market goes down and the NASDAQ, oh boy, tumbled like crazy. I think we went as low as 30%. We have been ranging since uh, mid-October, okay? And there was uh, the announcement um, mid-December that inflation was still there and even uh, higher. And then we had the crazy rebound uh, at the beginning of January. And since the announcement that the January uh, inflation was higher again, we have been going down. But again, my belief on, on, um, on another scale than the Dow Jones and uh, the S&P 500, because the, the NASDAQ lost so much during 2022 that I don't know if we're going to see the all-time high in 2023. I doubt it, but everything is possible, as you know, especially with the NASDAQ and the crazy. We could have, after the summer, let's just imagine the scenario, inflation going down and uh, the interest rates going down too. We could have such a high that the, the NASDAQ could go, you know, up like crazy. Everything is possible, guys. <laughs> Never forget that anything is possible uh, uh, on the on the market just remember recently 2020 march 2020 how many people thought that the market would go all-time high nobody in fact if you watch all the videos most people uh, said that the market would collapse like crazy that's what you heard you know so anything is possible on the market i'm very bullish for 2023 so again, for the NASDAQ, the previous uh, high point has not been rich. I mean, far from it. We would have to pass uh, the 13,200 points to consider, okay, being back maybe in a, uh, not even a bell market, but something like, okay, something is going on here. Well, we're far from it because we are around 11,500, something like that. So it's still, you know, a, a long way to go. <laughs> like Jerome said, this is a long way to go and a bumpy ride, bumpy road, he said. Oh, Jerome, <laughs> oh boy. All right, you subscribe to the channel, you like, you share, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope so, <laughs> bye.